Ball planting fun. This is TLC Live. All right, everybody, it's time to get planting for fall. Daryl's here to tell us all about what we should be looking at right now at TLC Garden Centers. Yeah. And there's so much to plant right now. Really I is. am ready. I, I am know. ready to Good. get this in the ground. I know. Cooler temperatures change <laughs> everything for us. They so. make me happy. I know. It's, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> but we do have lots of good stuff right now that uh, is great to plant for fall, like mm -hmm. the asters, um, beautiful shades of pink and purple. Mm -hmm. um, we have phlox. We have the rudbeckia right here, the coneflower. They look amazing right now. And uh, they all smell so good if you haven't smelled those. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're amazing. But there's lots of pretty colors from yellow to orange. Uh, they're pretty raspberries and pinks, um, pretty much any of those. Good time to get your bushes into the ground as well. Yes, yes. Now that we've cooled down, it's time to start thinking about that again. Mm -hmm. And there really are some cool plants right now, like this variegated Laura Petalum. It's got such a great, unique look to the foliage. Yeah. It's got that great purple color that's kind of hard to get. It's Plus, kind of it's speckled, got, too. It is. It's got that cool speckling, so it really yeah. does stand out in the landscape. Um, a very neat plant. We've got the spirea that's always really nice and bright gold. Yeah. The candy corn right there is a really cool one with the mm -hmm. orange tips on it. Um, you could also do things like hydrangea. Um, those are really coming on right now. We've got lots of pretty ones from the limelight to the endless summer to the really pretty hot pink or fuchsia colored flowers. It is beautiful. So what gives you, I mean, like, how do you know if your bush just didn't make it through well, the winter? How do my you? My guess is that most of them are looking pretty rough right yeah. now. The best thing to do is just to scratch on the fold, scratch on the branch, you know, yeah. with the fingernail to see if there's any green underneath. Mm -hmm. So before you do any pruning, I would do that. Okay. And, and water them right now. Water, 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 water. You can't water enough hardly right now. So we've been yeah. so extremely dry yeah. this summer the spring, the winter before that. Mm -hmm. um, it's just been extremely huff, uh, hard on plants. So yeah. you can't hardly water too much right now. All right, from bushes to trees, let's go. Yep, yeah, let's go. <laughs> wow, I see these colors and I instantly think fall. I know, yeah. So the cool thing about these is though, this is what they look like in spring and early summer. Mm -hmm. um, the heat kind of uh, tames them down a little bit, but once we cool down for fall, they get really vibrant again. This is an awesome new red bud. More than um, this? They more get than more this. vibrant Yeah, I know. It's a great wow. tree. So they bloom the really pretty pink flowers in spring, and then this awesome foliage after this. Oh and we've God. got like something like uh, two dozen different varieties of red buds. So that's a, a great plant, and now's a great time to put it in the ground. Um, we also have lots of things like the upright junipers here. Mm -hmm. um, Everyone's always looking for screening plants. Yeah. Uh, the upright junipers are a great way to go. They can mm -hmm. handle the heat better than most. Um, they're very tame the way they grow, usually a nice teardrop type shape. Yeah. Um, upright, narrow, you have lots of options there, but these are mm -hmm. extremely hardy. They can take the heat and the drought, yeah. um, but still don't forget to water. Right. Don't forget <laughs> to water. Not too much no, here. No, no, no. Don't go crazy. Exactly. Oh, and of course, as we get into fall, we start thinking about maples and the uh -huh. beautiful red fall color for maples. We are fully stocked on those right mm -hmm. now. We have the maples, oaks, elms. Uh, there really is just a lot to choose from right now. Really is. Yes. All right. Well, Daryl, thank you so much. And I love these. This is like a magic tree. I know. <laughs> let's go figure out where we can put one of these in your yard. How about that? Let's, let's just try. <laughs> let's let's just try to figure out where you can put a tree in my yard. <laughs> I'm down. I, I bet it's fine. Thank you for being with us, everybody. We'll see you next time on TLC Live.